Dark energy is potentially weakening. For decades, cosmologists believed dark energy to be constant, a force that relentlessly drives the universe's expansion. But recent findings from two major surveys, the Dark Energy Survey and the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, are challenging that long-held belief. These discoveries could force us to rethink everything we know about the universe's evolution. So, what's really happening with dark energy? And why does this matter so much? In this video, we'll dive into the latest research, explore the groundbreaking theories emerging from these discoveries, and discuss what it could mean for the future of our understanding of the cosmos. For over two decades, scientists have believed that dark energy accounts for approximately 68% of the universe. This idea took hold after 1998 when researchers discovered that the universe wasn't just expanding, it was doing so at an accelerating rate. It seemed like a cosmic repulsive force was acting on galaxies, driving them farther apart. This mysterious force, dubbed dark energy, was thought to be a constant element in the universe, which is a keystone of the Lambda CDM model of cosmology. But this year, scientists working on the DES and DC projects released results that have cosmologists questioning this assumption. Both surveys have been measuring the universe's expansion with unprecedented precision. DESI, for instance, has mapped over 40 million galaxies across seven slices of cosmic history. It revealed something unusual. Galaxies aren't as spread apart as they should be if dark energy were truly unchanging. Instead, the data suggests that dark energy might be weakening over time. The DESI survey uses an intricate 3D mapping technique to study galaxies' spectra and determine their distances and velocities. This allows researchers to pinpoint how the universe's expansion has evolved across billions of years. DESI's first-year results showed subtle deviations from predictions based on the Lambda CDM model. When combined with data from other sources, like the cosmic microwave background and Type 1a supernovae, the results diverged even more. These appealing hints suggest that dark energy might not be constant at all, a finding that could upend decades of cosmological theory. This has deep implications. The Lambda CDM model, which describes the evolution of the universe using just a few basic elements, could be incomplete. If dark energy is changing, scientists may need to introduce new variables to describe the universe's expansion more accurately. But, as many cosmologists caution, these results are still early days, and further evidence is needed to confirm whether dark energy is indeed fluctuating over time. If dark energy isn't constant, then what could it be? Several theories are being put forward by cosmologists. One of the possibilities is the concept of quintessence, which is a dynamic, fluid-like energy field that could evolve over time. Unlike the idea that dark energy has stayed the same since the Big Bang, this new concept suggests that dark energy could change and shift depending on the condition of the universe. Quintessence works much like the inflationary period that occurred shortly after the Big Bang. Inflation caused the universe to expand rapidly in a very short time, but it wasn't a constant force. It decayed as the universe grew larger. Quintessence could act similarly, changing its strength as the universe evolves. This theory would align with the new findings from Desi and Das, which imply that dark energy might have been stronger in the past and is now weakening. Another theory revolves around the idea of thawing dark energy. This model proposes that dark energy was frozen in a weaker state during the early universe, only to thaw and grow stronger as the universe expanded. Recent observations could indicate that this thawing process has begun to reverse, leading to a weakening of dark energy as the universe continues to expand. Both of these models challenge the long-held assumption that dark energy is static. If true, they could open the door to a deeper understanding of how cosmic forces interact over time. The evidence for these models comes from sophisticated analyses of galaxy distributions, supernovae, and the cosmic microwave background, all of which point to the possibility of a more complex, evolving form of dark energy. However, even with these compelling theories, scientists remain cautious. As Adam Rees, a cosmologist, and Nobel laureate remarked, if the cosmological constant is wrong, 
all bets are off about what's right. For now, the focus is on gathering more data and refining these theories to better explain the universe's accelerating expansion. Both DESI and DES are continuing their missions, with DESI set to collect data until at least 2026. These surveys are helping to map the universe with incredible precision, offering new insights into cosmic expansion across different epochs. One of the biggest challenges scientists face is achieving the level of statistical certainty required to claim a discovery. Current results from DESI and DES have a confidence level of about three sigma, meaning there's a small but not insignificant chance that the findings are due to random fluctuations. To completely challenge the cosmological constant model, scientists need to reach a five sigma confidence level. This means there is only a one in a million chance that the results happen by accident. This rigorous statistical approach is crucial for cosmology, where the stakes are high and the smallest errors could lead to misinterpretations of the universe's behavior. As exciting as the new findings are, the scientific community is proceeding cautiously, knowing that more data and deeper analysis are essential before declaring dark energy anything but constant. Upcoming missions, such as the Euclid Space Telescope, and NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope promised to take this research even further. Euclid, which launched in 2024, will create a detailed map of dark matter and dark energy by observing the distribution of galaxies and cosmic voids over a third of the sky. NASA's Roman Telescope will measure over a billion galaxies, offering unparalleled data on dark energy's behavior over time. Beyond the instruments, there are also collaborations between observatories around the globe. For example, DESI's 3D map of the universe is being combined with data from the Atacama Cosmology Telescope, which focuses on the cosmic microwave background. This synergy between different data sets is helping researchers to cross-verify their findings and reduce the likelihood of systematic errors. Furthermore, Theories of dark energy are being tested not just in the context of cosmology, but in the broader framework of physics. For instance, the potential overlap between dark energy and theories of quantum gravity could unlock new understanding. In some models, dark energy might interact with particles like neutrinos or be linked to phenomena like cosmic inflation. These investigations are pushing the boundaries of both theoretical physics and astronomy. As researchers await further data from the next generation of sky surveys, the hope is that these studies will either confirm or refute the hints we're seeing now. Whether dark energy proves to be a fluctuating force or something entirely unexpected, the consequences for our understanding of the universe could be profound. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest discoveries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.